Well, hello there. Tom Green coming back at you with some CC 2014 goodness. And today's goodness involves the video workflow between Adobe Muse and Edge Animate. A couple of weeks back, I was speaking at an event in San Francisco, and someone mentioned that the recommended method of getting video into Muse requires the use of either YouTube or Vimeo. I found this to be quite odd. With the recent release of Edge Animate CC 2014 and its inclusion of video, my response to the recommended method is, well, not quite. In this video, I'm going to cover off creating a simple video player in Edge Animate. In the next one, I'll cover off the Animate export and the Muse import process. Oh, did I mention there's a dash of Illustrator tossed in here? No? Well, let's get started. Obviously, we're going to need a couple of videos for use in Animate. Remember, this is HTML5 video we're talking about here, so you need both the MP4 and the WebM versions of the video due to browser limitations. As you can see, what I've got here is the video we're going to be playing. And it is a short clip shot along the north coast of California. And the videos that we're going to be using are right here in the content folder. Goat Rock, MP4, and WebM. Now this clip's physical dimensions are 640 by 360, so I think an animate stage that is 380 pixels high will work. Knowing this, we can pop over to animate. As you may have noticed, I already have the stage set up, centered, and responsive. Notice I have it centered on both axes, so it's going to appear in the middle of the uh, web page and responsive on both axes so if, so if the viewport changes the animate composition will also scale. I also have a pause button that's sitting right here and obviously I need a play button and that item is actually sitting in an Illustrator document so let's go over to Illustrator. One of the nifty additions to the Illustrator to Animate workflow is the ability to add Illustrator SVG documents to an Animate composition without a stop at the Illustrator SVG export dialog box. Now all you need to do is this. Copy what you need. There's my play button. And you're going to copy it to the clipboard, Command or Control C. And then you're going to come back to Animate and simply paste Command or Control V. And the dialog box comes up and you're never going to name it paste it. You're, this is going to be the play button so it's going to be play SVG. Click OK. And there's the div and you can see that it's way out there so what we're going to do is we're going to just set it to 300 on the x-axis and we'll set it to 358 on the y and there's our play button. I've also brought in the video. There's a new video tab right here in the library, and if I twirl it down, there's Goat Rock, and both the MP4 and WebM versions are there. So how did I get those? Well, basically what you do is you just click the Add Video button right here, find your two files, click Open, and away you go. To get the video on stage, all I do is I just grab the group, put it on the, sta on the stage in the composition right at the zero, zero point, release the mouse and there is the video. I'm just going to move it up. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it under the base. So I'm going to put the video under the base. There we go. It looks a little bit cleaner. And let's just make sure that I've got this where it's supposed to be. And I got it two pixels down so I'm going to make it zero. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. When I select the video, you'll notice that in the Properties panel, all kinds of HTML5 properties show up. Now, Preload Video is going to be an awkward one, especially if you're going to go mobile, because iOS and some Android uh, devices won't let you preload. So I'm just going to deselect Preload. We already have the controls, so we don't need the controls. If you select it, there are the HTML5 controls. Uh, I can loop this video if I want, and Autoplay, not exactly a best practice. Let the user choose whether they want to play the video or not. Now we're going to wire up the buttons. So I'm going to select the Open Actions area right here beside the uh, Play button. And I'm going to add a click event, so when I click it, something's going to happen. I have to admit, I have become a huge fan of the Improved Snippets panel that you're looking at. 
it actually makes things easier. In this case, I want to apply a snippet to a video. I want to play the video. And where's the video? Well, it's on the stage and it's this video. And all I have to do is press the return enter key and it is good to go. I can close the snippets panel and I can do the same thing with the pause button. Click video, pause video. Where is it? It's on the stage. What video am I looking for? That one there. Press return enter. Done. Click close. And now all I have to do is save and test. So I'm just going to do command S and press command return or control enter. And there's our project. And if I click the play button, the video plays. If I click the pause button, the video pauses. Click the play, video plays, pause, video pauses. In other words, it works like a charm. In the next installment, I'll prepare this composition for export to Muse and then add the video to a Muse document. I'll see you there.